Okay, everybody. So, goblins. Now, there's this huge issue that's happened because of those Lord of the Rings films that came out. And we have to look at things the way they are. In the films, they say things that nobody listens to because they just like to watch people stab each other. About how the orcs and the goblins and all that shit, they're all fucking dead. They're all fucking servants of Mordor. They're all dripping black ichor that controls them out of their fucking face holes. They're zombies. They're literal zombies. It's a zombie movie, just so people are aware. Yeah, I thought the people were aware of that. You know, it took a woman all the way from, um, you know, Africa. I culturally there more, even though, of course, everyone's suburbanite there, too. But, you know, she was like, this is a zombie movie. I'm terrified. Yeah, it's a zombie movie. And no one else said that ever. <laughs> She was like, wait a minute, this is like one of those African zombie movies? Yeah. Like, yeah, it is, basically. Yeah. She was like, oh man, this is just like an African zombie movie, basically. Anyway, um, the point here is that uh, if you if you actually view it that way, it's it's looks some parts of it look like uh, Africa in there in New Zealand. Okay, so goblins. You know Charles Bronson? He's got like the chest. It's all square, yeah. all, all set in every direction. He's short. It's like a goblin physique, if I'm going to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> That's why nobody likes Charles Bronson. Because his whole chest and abs, and I mean, it's all po pushed out. It's like as if it's otherworldly, like a goblin. And then you just make that skin like yellow or yellowish green. Because here's the way, I, I have to come up with a way it makes sense. Goblins, it's like they have a different body system. So their urinary system is you know this is fantasy of course though don't i'm not encouraging people just more part of their body so it's like their 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 blood and their any bodily fluids are more acrid and acidic because their urine is more a part of their body and it's part of their chlorophyll system so there's like mountain dew sort of bright green colored ones but there's always that yellowish to tone to them like and they like tan like yellowish yeah and like natural feeling instead yeah. of like silly glow evil yeah and so then there's ones that are like you know really yellow you know what i mean and yeah. then like there's the inverse where they get a little bit greenish brown tan you know what i mean but more brown than green like in patch you know you know how like there's highlights in skin you have to consider this like when doing even makeup for it if you wanted to do it that way or digital for anybody's bodies in lord of the rings yeah that's true i mean you gotta do makeup for some other people too just to enhance their skin, different colors of skin. Because, you know, I'm just saying, all aboard, like, Alaskans up there, you know, pretty friendly. And, like, you can just go on up there, get, you know, because that's where it's being filmed. And um, the unique looks is what we're trying to attract here, especially skin tones. Yeah. Well, wide variety of people with, you know, somewhat pointy Alvin features, not giant square brick faces like they did. For, see, everything they did in Rings of Power, yeah. we're not doing. The opposite of Yeah. It. I'm like, here's the thing. Um, I know people, there's always been purple-skinned people. Like, and if people have eaten so much monk fruit that their hair and skin is turning purple, I, I guess that's a, a look that if you have something else, too, going for you, you know, that people would want to cast for... Some Lord of the Rings action directly. But I just have to keep concerning over this goblin thing because people yeah. are fighting about it and I want it done. Um, I think it's Elf Stones of Shannara. It's it's a book series where there's a classic yeah. example of a goblin and I just have to use what's around that I've, I've read. It's really boring as fuck. But in there, uh, I believe it's twins are being escorted by a goblin who ordinarily doesn't associate with people because uh, it's literally like it's written because I'm saying this now where goblins are an actual <coughs> successful... Like, you have to look at the way races exist, even in a, a uh, fantasy world. So if he's a successful genotype, this is the way DNA works, then it means that the characteristics persist. Well, I'm not here to argue these things. I'm just here to say that goblins wouldn't have degenerative phenotype on average they would have maximum goblin which means sharp you know like the humps in the nose and large feet yeah and big pointed ears like world of warcraft elves and like even pointy chins somewhat but not always and that's not a sign of absolute success of a goblin phenotype is all i'm saying well um 
The goblins uh, in um, Shannara, I just have to point out why it's relevant is because they are actually, if you read all of the books, when they are boring, but I have, and um, the point here is that goblins, it like describes that there's these different races of people on the different continents of even Earth here, and when they stop all living in the same homes worldwide and doing the same thing, then it just quickly explains the different races of people that look a certain way on average, they then eat certain things more, and there's a bunch of radiation in the plot, so it all leads to people looking like goblins and elves and other stuff. Because there is just a dietary regime that you can do, especially from youth, that will make you look like something. Yeah. I mean, and if it's generationally repeated, you're going to start looking elven really fast. I mean, if you want to, how did I look so spooky? Um, I ate endless cactus. Yeah, for example, Mexicans, how do they look the way they do? They eat a fuckload of cactus, they eat a lot of corn, they eat the specific things, like... Yeah. Well, like, when Mexicans eat a bunch of cactus and they supposedly look spooky, I don't know if anyone's so convinced, you know? They're they're a little too... They just look like hollowed out chipmunks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, what I'm trying to get at here is, uh, I don't know if it covers orcs in Shannara. I can't fucking remember. I'm so bored. Because they're, they're so rare, like, in the show. Yeah. The story that... They have to realize different stories populate themselves with different numbers of creatures that live completely far away from anyone's relevant plots. Most stories just say oh, they're only working with some people and some uh, Dude, Shannara, it's written in like three sections by different writing teams who want to add in concepts of like the garden heaven and just randomly visiting it like literally the stories are so lazy to a certain point where people like every time they're gonna like die like smash and explode or fall off a tall building then they're just whisked away to you know magical heaven land where you know they're told what they should do next and then sent back like it's yeah direct yeah <laughs> it's funny i was Anyways, it's just a good information compendium, and that's really why it was created. Yes, that's why. Oh, also, we're in there as two sexy elves that have a giant tree house that we live in. <laughs> it's true. Yep. Um, I guess that sums up what we're saying, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, just that orcs have always been the same? Yeah. And I want people to know that. That World of Warcraft orcs are very cliche. And you'll find that in Warhammer, they might be, like, inbred looking with giant uh, undergrown chins and stuff and too much muzzle. But orcs have always been the same. And everybody knows what a sexy orc and what orcs are and orky orc, 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 orc. So it's not like, just don't make them fucking zombies. Stop making everything zombies just because Lord of the Rings happened. I mean, we're already doing gore the icor, so. Yeah. We don't need everything like that. No. Plus, he's, like, not... He's, like, a zombie that's, like, evolved so far that, like, it doesn't count the same way. Yeah, he he's vomits black licorice all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 